Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to clone our VMs. Okay. So first of all, let's check the configurations of our VM. Suppose you have installed SID VM, then go to settings, go to network, and make sure you select adam adapter two. Okay. So for adapter two, click choose enable network adapter and choose bridged adapter. So here, choose bridged adapter and the name of adapter. You need to choose the wireless network card your computer uses. Okay. So in my computer, I mean my Windows system, I'm using AC8265. So I should choose this one. So how do you know the appropriate wireless network card you need to choose? That is, we can right click, right click this PC properties and choose device manager then here you will see network adapter okay so in network adapter you will see your wireless adapter so this is the hardware okay i'm using my ac8265 so from this, from here, I need to choose wireless AC eighty two sixty five. Okay, and uh, after choosing this one, click advanced. Okay. So here, actually, you don't need to change adapter type, but here we want to, we need, we have to. Choose this one, allow all. Promiscuous mode, we need to choose allow all. For the promiscuous mode, then the attacker is able to monitor the traffic between the server and the client. Otherwise, the attacker is not able to monitor or get information from the server to the client okay so in order to have a successful uh, project we need to choose this one promise case mode and choose allow all okay choose allow all okay then click ok all right so this is about the setting then we can right click it. So right now I have the client. I have the seed client. Client. I also have the seed server. I want to make another clone. And I will name the another clone to seed a tanker. Okay, seed tanker. All right. So here this is very important. MAC address policy. We need to choose generate new MAC address for all network adapters then choose next okay then choose for cologne then click cologne okay so then with for well you will be able to find a new VM and the name is seed underscore a tanker all right so right now I have finished the clone. So you can see right now I have server, seed server, seed client, and seed a tanker. Okay. For the seed tanker, let's double check the settings. So click settings, network. So adapter to bridged adapter. Okay. Then click OK. Click OK. All right. So right now you can start the VM, start a tanker, start the client, 
Anastad start the server. Okay. So you can also, okay. So right now you can check the IPs. You can check the IPs. So Right now we are working on the client. See, see the client. Control Alt plus T. You can open a terminal. Then when input the, if config, you will see the IP is here. So the IP is. So here we have several IPs. So this one is our NAT IP. Okay. This one is our bridge IP, bridge IP. Okay, this one, this adapter is our bridge adapter. This adapter is our NAND adapter. Okay, so we use the bridge adapter. We use the IP from the bridge adapter. Okay, so the IP is twenty nine dot one thirty two. Okay, so let's check another one. Let's check the a tanker. Control Alt T, open a terminal. I have a config. So this one is twenty nine dot one fifty. Okay, so let's open the seed server. Control Alt T. If config, so this one is twenty nine dot two zero seven. That means. Those the three VMs, they are in the same subnetwork. So let's take a look at are they able to ping each other? So let's use the attacker to ping the client. So the client is 132. Okay. So we ping one thirty two. Okay, so we are able to pin 132. Let's pin another one, 207. 207. See, we are able to pin 207. Okay, so that, is, that means our environment is ready. Okay. Okay, so you can also verify if the Prometheus mode is open or not. Okay, so how can you do that? So this one is a tanker. From a tanker, we just open our wire shark. Okay, so that is sudo wire shark. So you will be able to wear shark. Okay. So here we have several adapters. So we will use we will use this one because we are going to use this sub network. So we click EMP zero S eight. Click it, then click start capturing. Pancakes. Okay. All right. So, so right now, the a tanker is using Wireshark shark to monitor traffic. So, next, let's open the client terminal. 
let's just tell night to the server. So the server's IP is 29.207, okay? From the client, tell night the IP is 207, 207. Tell night, then VM login, okay? So we just input the server's username and password. That is S E D D E S. Okay, so right now we have logged in to from the client to the server. Okay, so let's go to let's go to the attackers well shark so we can so there are many ma messages so let's just focus on the client and the server so we can use filters so ip dot address equals so here we just input we can we just input our server's IP address, which is 207, okay? Two zero seven. Okay. And from the client, let's open so let's tag let's tag some command. For example, ls. So the client, the seed client, just imported ls. Okay. So let's check from the well shark. Okay. So we can see tail night. So we can see source IP two zero seven. So what is the 207? 207. That is our server. Okay. And let's check our client's IP address. Our client's IP address, that is 132. Okay, so you can see 207 is talking with 132 using telnet. And right now, this one is a tanker, is a tanker. So we can monitor the sort of port number. So from here, we can see the port number, sort of port number 46938, that's from 132 Two two zero seven, okay. And the signal number is one thirty. So this is relative signal number. So in order to see the real signal number, we can right click it, then protocol pro protocol preferences, and here we need to and check relative six numbers and check it okay then the same number will be a long a big number okay so this is how to use wireshark how to set up our vm environment and to allow or open the prometheus mode so that the attacker is able to monitor the traffic between the server and the client. Okay, so that's our today's demo.